being a coaster enthusiast can get expensive. Sometimes you spend more money on a credit run than you really need to spend for those coasters, but because of where they're at, you've got to spend more to get the credits. But luckily there are ways to get that money back, such as Upside, an app that allows you to get cash back on your gas, groceries, restaurants, and any other essentials you might see in the app that gives cash back. If you download the app and use the code WILLETTE7348, you will get $10 as in addition to your cash back you'd already get on your first purchase. Now on to the video. What's up everyone? It's Willette with Urbex and Coasters and I am here at Live Oak Canyon Pumpkin Farm. And well, yeah, I dealt with pumpkin pat with family pumpkin patch traffic to get two coaster credits. And I paid $39 to do so because I had to pay 20 bucks admission plus, no, nine, no, plus, yeah, 39 because 19 bucks for one thing and 20 bucks for the other. I forget which one was ride tickets and which for the smallest package and which one was admission, but yeah. And this is one of the credits too, an SBF spinner. I mean, I paid three dollars for this thing at at the Malibu Jacks spots. And for the price I've paid, and for how little I've done, like I am gonna say, it's honestly kind of laughable that this place gets the attendance it does, because. Like the fact that they had three lots open and I was sent back to the last one and it was a really nasty gravel road I had to drive on. It's like, wow. <laughs> you guys should be using spotters with spoons. Couldn't help going into work mode there. Spoons, not forks, but like, I mean, They've got no spotters at all. They need to have spotters on those. And you know, looking at some of these rides, not being on permanent foundations, makes me think a lot about the Ryan the Ride Mechanic video about carnival rides and traveling rides in general. The one ride that I got to do at Santa Cruz in 2021 that was removed since I was there that I did not get to do this year because it had been removed. See what I mean about everything here is going to cost money even after you paid admission. And of course because their smallest package forces you to buy 20 tickets. They've got machines in here to allow you to buy more tickets. Because they know you'll fe feel bad about leaving four tickets on the table if after getting the coaster credits. That's all you really came here to do. And speaking of coaster credits, here's the other one. It's a Wisdom Rides Kitty Coaster. So this is similar to what we rode at the Oakland Zoo. I think it's a slightly different layout. I know that, I, I can say it has a it has a good pop in in the back there, in the back of the layout back there. But this thing is very similar to what we rode at the Oakland Zoo, again, $3 and no admission cost for that one, but this one, $8, 8 credits and a $20 admission cost. So that's, if you only come here for this, about $28. But like I said, in reality, they don't let you buy less than 20 tickets. So, like, I mean, for a coaster enthusiast, that's 40 bucks to get an SBF spinner and a and, and a Wisdom Rides Kitty Coaster. So, I mean, you decide if it's worth it. To, like, I mean, and like, I mean, I didn't even mention the parking ordeal that I went through to make this happen. So, you decide if all this is worth it. But like, I mean, I'm glad I have the credits. I think this is probably gonna be the only time I'm here though.